I got to talk. I got to tell what I feel. I got to talk about my life as I see it. You're tuned into URM with Reese Rowe, and today I have with me Angela Moore. How are you today, Angela? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you're the writer and director of this play that's buzzing around D.C. right now, Do You Pray or Pray? Like, it's, I'm so happy to be a part of it, and it's a wonderful play. Like, could you elaborate on what it's about for the viewers? Um, do you pray or pray? Um, we, I wrote it about two years ago. So that's about 2012. Okay. Um, it was after I had did our first uh, production for the company at the. Um, we performed it at the Mission of, of Christ, the Mission of Love and Christ in Maryland, and so I was looking for another idea to perform at the DC Black Theater Festival for 2012, and I knew I wanted to be in the adult, um, the adult portion of it. So uh, that's when I started writing the show. It's actually taken a lot of different. You know, we've we've gone through different casting and different writing, but you know, this product that we have now is probably the best that we've had since we started. So. Okay, so has theater always been your first love, or you started with vocals, right? You used to sing. I um I went to Duke Ellington. I graduated two thousand one, and I was in the voice department, and then I also went to Marshall University where I also was in voice performance and I got my bachelor's and I met my master's at Bowling Green State University in voice. So I wanted to be an opera singer at one time. But um, at once I returned home, I started looking at other, you know, loves of mine, which I always was writing. I always loved to write and I knew that I was best at writing adult type materials and so that's when I started really getting into this aspect. Okay, well, you know, I may ask you to do a little singing for us <laughs> before it's all over with, right? <laughs> okay, so um, when is Do You Pray or Pray running? It's running soon, right? The end of October? Yes. Well, we did our first run September 26th and 27th. It was, yes, we did. It was wonderful. <laughs> it was two sold-out shows at the D.C. Arts Center, so it was a very proud accomplishment, and we're going to be performing it again at the Anacostia Arts Center, this time doing three performances. Um, this coming weekend is the um, October 31st, November 1st, and 2nd, which is actually next weekend. And we're hoping for the same out outlook as well as we did, you know, sold out shows, having people come and enjoy the product that we've worked incredibly hard for. So definitely, I'm sure it would be an amazing outcome, just like it was before, because it is an amazing play. What inspired you to write this piece? Um, well, actually, because I was looking for an aspect to do. I was looking for a show to do because, like I said before, I was trying to get an adult show for the DC Black Theater Festival, and I and some of my um, former staff members of the of the production company that I have, we were sitting around and we were talking about, you know, what would be good viewpoints. And so I knew that I wanted to do something with a, like a church-based setting, but I wasn't really sure how far I could really go. And so just talking with others and getting, you know, accumulating ideas from what they were throwing at me, I was able to come up with the actual, and also from other, you know, situations and other, actually like other movies and stuff like that, you know, just really just coming up with ideas and being able to accumulate this product of like what the structure is and everything of that sort. So, I mean, it is just like, but as I write, I find that a lot of times what I am originally thought of what to do, it kind of evolves into something totally different. So it's just like, it's just a, t a totally different process as you're writing and you're coming up with new ideas as time goes by. So it's just, it's an ongoing process when it comes to ideas for this show. So, so do you have any quotes that you live by? Any, you know, favorite quotes, anything like that? Well, I have a number of them, but the most important one that I would say I, I truly live by is the one where I, where I, I've actually heard this before, where it's just like, when I look back over my life, I want to be able to sit, especially, you know, when you get older, you have times where you have reflection. And when I get to a point where I can do that and actually reflect on my life, I want to see that I did everything that made me happy and that I have no regrets. I mean, of course, in life, we make mistakes. That's, I mean, and that's why, you know, as we as we grow older, we reflect on those mistakes and we hopefully will move forward from them. But even throughout those mistakes, even through all the bad and the good, you can, if I will, I want to be able to look back and to say, you know what, even through all of that, even through all the trials, even through all of the 
mistakes even through all of the everything that I'm happy that I, I did whatever I needed to do to make make sure that I continue to be happy in this life because we only have one life so I want to be happy in that life may it be you know doing this which of course is something that I love may it be finding someone to you know in my life to love me and I love them you know may it be children but whatever choices that I make when it's time for me to do reflection I want to be able to say that I did everything that I wanted to do, and I was happy. Angela, it was great having you on the show today. And could you let the viewers know how they can purchase the tickets when, you know, the show dates are again, and how they can contact you? Sure. Um, we do have a a Productions that have a Facebook as well as a, ha um, I'm sorry, a Twitter. So it's hashtag a, &A Productions LLC and um, a, a Productions LLC. If you search us on Facebook, you'll find us. But we also have a Do You Pray or Pray Facebook um Facebook group so that you know we give a whole bunch to talk about the actors that, that are the performers we show pictures of the show and it also allows you to see a little bit more about the show we have our um we did a trailer for the show so it's also up there that gets us prepared for the web series which we are preparing for very soon after the show um next weekend um web series yes, yes. Web series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the web series is going to start airing around what time? We're hoping to have that web series ready by spring 2015. We, um, the cast for the sh for the play will be we'll start rehearsing. Um, well, we, we, really, because the play, the, what has been done in the play is going to be in the web series as well, just going to be dissected. So we're actually going to start um, creating a schedule after we finish the, the play so that we can be able to start, you know, me and the director. We have a director that's going to be doing location shopping. So hopefully by December we'll be able to start shooting and getting it done. So by spring, probably summer <laughs> 2015, we can be able to launch our first episode. Okay. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm incredibly excited. <laughs> it's been an incredibly long road. It's been amazing, but it's been a long road, and it's so wonderful to be it. There's nothing like whenever you see, especially when you see the performance of your of the stuff that you have created. It's nothing like seeing that actually being performed and being shown to the people. And it's like right now, it's you know, it's local, but I'm, I'm hoping for us to get to a point where we're international. To where we're able to take this show not only as a play but also as the web series can be seen throughout the world so i, I think that it it can definitely happen i think that it will happen because it's an awesome play and you have awesome people and yourself you're in it yes. too main character you play yes um my character's name is andre pastor andrea leaves so yes and so she um she's a very troubled soul she's she believes, of course, she believes in God, and she believes in her ministry, and she believes that he has called her, but she also has a lot of humanistic tendencies that she has to work with and that she struggles with. And so, so that was that's kind of the main point of why I wrote this wrote this this play. It wasn't to show the bad side of preachers or to show that you know it's not good to be a religious leader because I believe in religious leaders. I believe in God. I believe in worship, and I believe in that we all do need to have someone to worship with. And, but what I don't believe in is putting someone up into a pedestal where and you forget that they are human. And that was the whole point of like showing that, you know, even though they are a man of God, yes, they've been called, but they're still human. And it's just like, and it's, it's kind of, again, it's like reflection, knowing who you serve and being aware of who you serve. So, <laughs> Make sure you come and support Community Theater by coming to see Do You Pray or Pray, written and directed by Angela Moore. Also, remember, viewer discretion is advised. It does have adult content. You can purchase the tickets online and also at the door on the days of the show. Reese Rose signing out, and that's back.